y'all, for what I did for you. Concentrate on me and how I'm taking you through. Concentrate on me and let me be your source. You see, Paul's going to tell us something through this word. I don't know what he's going to tell us. I'm just going to turn to it. But God's going to use a man of God. Amen. To let us know that the weapons of our warfare are not called. They are mighty through the pulling down uh, of strongholds. You got some strongholds this morning. Yes, and, and what yes, we need to do pull them down. Oh, yes, pull them down. Just pull them down. Take your hands and begin. Yeah, no, no. Pull them strongholds. Oh, yeah. oh, y'all don't want to be obedient this morning. I said, take your hands and pull them down. Strongholds down. In the name of Jesus. Brother, oh, you got two hands. Pull them down. Oh, oh, you got some strongholds. Pull them down. I ain't setting the devil this morning. Amen. Come on, Jesus. God trying to free us. Amen. He done done to us, Lord, just this way. Thank you, Father. Come on, Somebody Jesus. better tell God, thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Do it all. This word, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, mm -hmm. verse 1 through 6. That you heard. See, we coming here to get more than an offer. We coming here to get God's word. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Come on, somebody. Somebody need to be free today. Amen. Amen. Hey, get your mind in the right place. Amen. Now, I, Paul, myself, beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ. Look what he said right yes, there. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I greet you with the meekness All right, now. and the gentleness of Christ, Christ, who in present am based among you, Amen. but being absent am bold towards you. You yeah. can't scare me, devil. Right. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with towards you. With that confidence, well, well, I think to be bold against some. Which think of us as if we walk according to the flesh. You can't do that. That flesh will rise up in you. But you can't do that. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. We ain't fighting each other. Come on, somebody. For the weapons that we're using. Come on, somebody. Come on. Oh, our warfare. We are spiritual warfare now. Come on, somebody. Amen. Are not carnal. They ain't like the world. They ain't like the world use carnal stuff. The world use everything they can to make them happy. But what we're going to use is the word of God that stands forever. When heaven and earth pass away, the word is going to still stay. But mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. Paul just told oh, yes, we got some strongholds. Yes. But you got the power and I got the power yes. to pull them down. Yes. Come on, somebody. Thank you, God. Casting down imaginations. Stop yes. letting your mind run away with you. Come on. Come on. And everything that is sold in itself against the knowledge of God mm -hmm. and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience. All right. When your obedience, it, when your obedience yes. is fulfilled, when you have completed your obedience yes. in the word of God, yes. it will be fulfilled. See, you can't tell somebody to do something if you ain't doing it yourself. Amen. I'm going to number seven. Do you look on things after the outward appearance? Mm -hmm. If any man trusts to himself that he is Christ, let him of himself think this again. Mm -hmm. That as he is Christ, even so are we Christ. Mm -hmm. For though I should boast somewhat more of our authority, which is the, the Lord has given us, for edification and not for destruction, I should not be a strength. Shame. We can destroy some stuff. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, let us pray. Thank you, Lord. Tell the Father, we come now, Father God, for your word is powerful, God. Yes, your God. word is sharper yes. than any two-edged yes. sword, yes, God. Lord. So, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you would lift us higher today, God. Yes, oh, God, we ask you and invoke you to come in, God. Thank you, God. Touch every heart Thank in you. this building on yes. today, God. Oh, God, touch us ones that's tired in our bodies, God. Yes. Father, we know that bodies are getting weak and frail, God. Yes. God. We know so much is going on, God. But, God, let the word of you yes. spring up in us, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, that we'll be a well of living water, God, yes, springing up to everlasting life, yes, God. Yes. We pray and touch and agree now that you will move by yes, your yes, own yes, power yes, today yes, in the name of yes, Jesus. Yes, Help us where we are weak and yes, torn down, yes, Father God, in the spirit, and we yes, will tell you thank you. Yes, touch your people today, near and far, yes, and bless Israel, your chosen people on today, yes, and Jerusalem, your holy city. Yes, in Jesus' name, yes, we pray. Amen. 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 The song again said, Be not dismayed, whatever be tired. I want to talk to you about this morning the sword of the Spirit, Amen. which is the, sword of the, Spirit. the Word of God. Amen. The sword of the Spirit, Amen. which is Amen. the Word of God. Amen. I don't know how many of you seen those movies, amen, where they have been fighting, amen, with swords, mm -hmm. amen. The sword can do a whole lot of damage, yeah. amen. amen. The sword very seldomly miss whatever is aimed at, huh? And if the sword hits you the right way, the sword will take you out, huh? The enemy used the sword of the world that's trying to take people out now. Yes. Trying to make you be discouraged. Yes. Mm? Amen. Trying to make you think that you ain't nobody. Yes. 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 That you're not loved. Yes. Trying to make you think that just because you don't stay on the other side of the tracks, uh -huh. you are nobody. I'm talking about the sword of the spirit. Yes. The word of the God. Yes. The enemy come to steal, kill, yes. and destroy. Yes. But the Lord said, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Yes. But you can't have life and have it more abundantly if you don't have a relationship with the Lord. Yes. Amen. You see, I used to worry about how many people were coming in the door. Yes, Lord. Hey, hey. Come on. But God told me don't worry about how many are coming in. Worry about those that's going to stay in. Yes, right. Amen. Huh? Because the door swings both ways. Yes, it does. But those that stay got to be taught. Yes. And Paul is teaching today. Paul is speaking loud to yes. us today yes. in his word. And as we are uh, slipping through the centuries, there was a serpent that whispered his smooth tongue. Promising men and women to reject God and follow Satan. Satan immensely have been many false prophets contradicting God's ancient spoken word. Many false prophets, pious leaders, hurling blasphemous accusations, and heritage teachers infiltrating the churches. When that word started hitting, people don't want to hear that word. Well, Paul said, I'm going to write to you to affirm my ministry, defend my authority as an apostle, and refute false teachers here in the church of Corinth. Look, it's not only in the church of Corinth, it's in every church. Because when you came in the house this morning, the enemy is living only here with you. Come on, come on. He don't want you to be happy. He don't want you to be joyful. She said, he said, enter his gates with what? Thanksgiving. Enter his courts with praise. Y'all know the word. I, I believe y'all heard the word before. I think you studied the word before. Y'all know it. Give it back to me. Amen. He said, I beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ. Jesus could go anywhere with yeah. anybody. Come on. You care what side of town you was on. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. 
and he would sit down and dine with you. Yes, he would. Be there. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come they on. Didn't care whether you were clean or dirty. Amen. They didn't care whether you were hurting. Didn't care whether you were the taxpayer. Amen. Didn't care what you had done in your life. Yeah. But Come he on. sat down and dined with you. You know, when you sit down and dine with somebody, you can eat a lot. Yes, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Because you have the sword of the Spirit. Yeah. Amen. The Word of God. Yeah. So I got a pass. How many of us don't have a past? Yeah, Paul said, I've got a past, and it wasn't a good past. Come on, come on. But you can't hold my past hostage anymore. Yeah, come on, come on. Because the God that I serve has delivered me. Yeah, and I may have to go in the prisons. Yeah. I don't know where he may take me to, but I know he's right there with me. Yeah. Yeah. He never left me nor forsake me. And look, here's what I love about it. Paul said, I'm going to tell my own story. Oh, uh, you got to tell your own story. Huh? Because you got the spirit of truth, the word, the spirit, the word, the sword of the spirit, the word of God in you. Huh? So you ought to be speaking truth now. Huh? Amen. I ought not to be no more lies in you. Huh? Come on, somebody. Huh? Paul said, you can't hold nothing hostage on me no more. Because huh? I'm going to tell everything I did. Huh? Amen. And once Amen. I told it, I ain't going to keep repeating myself. Because I got power and authority now. And everything that God gives me, I'm going to use it. Yeah. If you put me in a prison, I'm going to tell somebody that Jesus is love. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Take me into the courthouse. Yeah. I'm going to tell them about the one that saved me. Yeah. Amen. Come on, somebody. If they put me on the street, I'm going to tell them that Jesus saved. And the wages of sin and death. Yeah. But the gift of God. I'm going to speak the word. Yes, sir. Because the word is the only thing that's going to free you. Yes. The word is the only thing that's going to free your family. My God. Come on. Huh? Amen. The hey. word of God, which is the sword of the spirit. Thank you, Lord. And I'm going to have a readiness. Yes. And you ought to have a readiness in you. Yes. To speak truth. Yes. See, sometimes we want to pick and choose sides. Yep. It ain't from one side. That's God's side. Yes, Lord. What side is that's the truth? The truth. Yes, Lord. All of us got different ways and different attitudes and different right. things. Yes, right. But we let God be the rule of our lives. Yes, and sometimes you just got to zip your lips and yes, don't say nothing. Amen. Amen. Let God be God. Amen. And every man that does not exalt himself will surrender unto yes, God's right. mercy. God. Amen. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I'm present with that confidence where I think to be bold against some. Uh -huh. I'm going to only use boldness when I have to. Mm -hmm. huh? So don't let people intimidate you. Amen. They will try to intimidate you now. Yeah. Because you th they think you ain't nobody. Mm -hmm. All right, sir. I used to think that. Mm -hmm. So then... I just think that because they told me I won't want to be nothing Amen. or nobody. Amen. I was like the lady yesterday that some I had something oh, to speak life into myself. Amen. Amen. I didn't hear how many because they were, most of them had convinced my mom and daddy that I won't want to be nothing. Uh -huh. Is the truth be told? Amen. But I had one aunt. Uh -huh. I don't know what she saw in me. See there. But she said, you're going to be somebody. Amen. See, you got to speak to these little children. Yeah, Tell them you're going to be somebody. Yeah. Amen. You ain't doing what you need to be doing, but you're going to be somebody. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Paul said, I was shipwrecked. Come on. Ooh, Jesus. And even on the ship, I told them. Come on, God. That we're getting ready to get shipwrecked. Yes, yeah. Lord. See, what I told them was, you better eat now because you're going to need your strength. Oh, yeah. You better yeah. eat this word yeah. now, praise God, yeah. because you're going to need this word. Yeah. 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 And need to be your appetite. Yeah. What is that? Uh -huh. That thing that you eat before you eat your main meal. Uh, this word of God. Uh, he said, and they became, uh, and they overcome him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they love not their lives 
until they are stop loving your life. Come on, people. We're living the best life right now. Come on, somebody. Because we have Jesus the Christ. It ain't because our situations are so luxurious. But praise God, it's because the God we have on the inside of us. Which is the sword of the spirit, the word of God. A lamp unto our feet. Praise God, a light unto our pathway. We got something that the world don't have. That's why there's so much killing and hatred now. Because the world don't have what we got. God, he'll lose. We got love. Yeah. See, he looked beyond our faults mm -hmm. and saw our needs. Yes, so we have overcome so many things yes, in our lives yes, by the blood of the Lamb yes, and the word of their testimony. Yes, you ought to tell somebody, I got the word on today. Uh, come on, somebody. You ought to let them know that, that Paul went through some stuff. Uh, I can go through some stuff, too. Uh, you better stop looking for the easy way out. Uh, praise God, because God is more than you. Uh, amen. If you ain't never been in the fire, uh, amen. You don't know what it feel like to get burned. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, if you ain't never, uh, hallelujah, have somebody, uh, amen, to talk about you, uh, then you don't know how to feel uh, when you are talking about somebody else. Uh, can I get a witness up in here? Uh, you don't know what it feels like uh, when somebody walk away from you, uh, but if you ever had somebody uh, to walk away from you uh, in your lifetime, uh, you ought to tell God thank you uh, because if they were for you, uh, they would still be there. Uh, somebody ought to tell God Thank you. God the less he will be in your lifetime uh, just for a season uh, that's to make you or to break you. Uh, come on somebody uh, that's to let you move uh, either higher in God uh, amen that put stuff on you uh, they'll tell a lie on you uh, and you get upset and get mad uh, well why you don't get mad about uh, that lie on Jesus Christ uh, yes they did uh, they hide people to lie on him. Guess what? Now they'll tell a free lie on you. If you don't believe it, go to the courthouse. I was listening to the lady yesterday that said they want to snitch. Come on, somebody. They want somebody to lie on you. They want somebody to cheat on you. Amen. They want what they want. And then they'll promise you something and never give it to you. Never give it to you. The enemy come to set you up. I'm talking about the sword of the spirit. Yes, Lord. The word of God. Yes. It won't come back forward. Yes, yes, Matthew 4 and 10 said, Then say Jesus unto him, Get thee. Hence, Satan, what is written? Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only. Shall thy servant. Uh, then the devil leaded him, and behold, the angels came and ministered unto him. Uh, and then ministered to him. Now, if he told Satan to get behind him, what do you think you ought to tell Satan? Get behind. Get behind. The word. Speak the word. That the sword word. of the spirit is the, the word of the God. Word. Speak God word. You better stop, Satan. I'm tired of going through this. Come the on. devil ain't stepping up. But if you don't pick this book up, only God. 66, 66 books in it. Yeah, amen. A love letter from God to us. Amen. And I can't do it. I, I, I just I, can't I, do it. Okay, then you're going to keep getting beat today. Yeah. But the weapons of our warfare, See there? there's a war going on, y'all. Yeah. Amen. Are not come. Come on, somebody. Yeah. I said, they like the word of man. No. They're not calm, but mighty through God. There ain't no other way you're going to get it Amen. but through God. Amen. Come on, somebody. Through God to the pulling down yeah. of strongholds. Yeah. We got generational strongholds, yeah. generational curses. Yeah. Amen. To them ran down. Through the generations. Amen. You got pregnant when you were 15. Your daughter get pregnant when she's 15. Amen. Your daddy was a 
drunk, you're going to be a drunk. Come on, somebody. Run on down and tickle on down. But somebody got to pull down the truck. Somebody got to pull down the Somebody got to speak to those generations and curses. Somebody got to break that chain. And say it stops right here. My yeah. daddy might have been a drunk. I might have had children at an early age. But guess what? That ain't going to happen to my daughter. Yeah. Come on. Huh? Come on. My son ain't going to have children all over the world. See, you got to stop some stuff. Right. Yeah. Amen. But we got to speak it with a thought. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Let the devil know you ain't playing. Amen. Huh? Amen. See, God did a shift. Mm. And when it didn't see them, they said that this pandemic was not just a pandemic, but it was a pandemic. Huh? God put us, sheltered us up for a whole year. Come on, Jesus. Mm. A whole year, praise God. That we could get a closer relationship with Him. Glory. And with those that were in your household. Yes. Come on. A whole year. Well, we can sit down and commune with one another. Amen, amen. Well, you used to just run through the house, yes, dig a building. Yes, Ain't got time because I'm running out the door to get to the job. I got to hustle them books. I got to pay to these bills. Come but on, when that pandemic came through, everything stopped. Oh, but God. But God. But God. But God. The sword yes. of the spirit amen. kept on moving. Yes. And God allowed many to inhabit death. Yes. Yes. Hmm? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. But see, what, what we looked at was people that died. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what about those that live? Yes, right. Come on, Jesus. Yes, right. More live than the one that died. Right. Amen. In this pandemic. Yes, right. See, if we don't humble ourselves down. Under the mighty hand of God, there's another pandemic right around the corner. Come on, come on. Huh? Uh, the world yeah. is comfortable now. They're carnally thinking Ooh, that Jesus. just because this pandemic has gone, we ain't got nothing to worry about. <laughs> we don't got our oh, shots. But how about God can inject some of you that that shot can't take away? Amen. Oh, Jesus. How about, amen, the sword of the spirit the within pain, the God. word of God can do more than any shot can do for yes, you. Yes. Mm. I ain't telling you not to take the shot. Amen. I'm just telling you what the word of God can do for us. Amen. Come on, somebody. Yes, man. Where you trust in? Where your faith in? If God wanted to kill you, you already been dead. Oh, oh, come on, Jesus. But God is doing something so wonderful in our life. He's showing us how wonderful his grace and mercy is. Yes. Yes. Paul said, I got authority and I'm going to tell everybody. Don't try to intimidate, intimidate me and talk about it. I can't talk plain. I say what God tells me to say. And if you can't receive what God telling me to say, it's on you. Amen. It ain't on me. If you get mad at what the Spirit of God is saying, it ain't on you. But I got to speak the word. The word is going to deliver you from yourself. Deliver you out of the hands of the enemy.
Don't say a word. Amen. See, sometimes we give the devil too much play. Amen. Can I just teach you for a while? Yes, Lord. Right. We give him too much room. We allow him to use us. Plug up them hoes. Mm -hmm. Put on the whole arm of God. The whole arm. Amen. And it's Ephesians 6, 12 through 17, you can find the whole arm of God. Hold on. Yes, Lord. You got to dress yourself up. Mm -hmm. The armor is a defensive purpose. Amen. Why are we so surprised when we get our feelings hurt when we are a people to wear armor? Why? Because we didn't dress ourselves up. Yeah. We do big. Uh -huh. We're doing other stuff that the world does. The only offensive weapon given to believers is the passage, is the word of God. Why is this weapon is so effective? I'm going to let you know why it's so effective. Amen. Hebrews 4 and 12 tells us, plainly in God's word, that the word of God is quick. Good gracious of life. It's powerful. And it's sharp. And in the two-edged sword. <laughs> See, that sword will cut. Amen. But that, that sword of the word, the spirit of God, will cut even deeper. Yeah. Piercing even to the sunder of the soul. Mm -hmm. See, the sword can't cut for so far. Mm -hmm. But the sword of the Spirit of God can cut all the way down to the soul and the spirit. And of the joints and the marrow. And of the discerner of the thoughts and the intent of the heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, heart. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on, Jesus. Oh, my God. When you think about that heart. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Let me tell you something. The sword of the spirit hardly ever miss. Yeah. But the word of God never, 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 never misses. Never. It's effective. It's active. It's always energized. And it's always working. Yeah. Isaiah 55 and 11 says, So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not Return until me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the things whereto I sin. That's why you got to always be speaking the word. It's the only thing when anybody asks me anything, I say, What does the word say about it? What does the word of God say about it? Thank you, Paul. He said, If where I send it out to, it's going to accomplish what I send it out to. It's not going to return to me void. Why? Because I'm true with the word. I am the word. I am life. Spring it up to everlasting eternity. The word. The word. Speak over yourself. Encourage your own self with the word of God. It's sharper. It implies that it does not have to be used like hacking or chopping. But rather one swing would do the job. Yeah. Smooth, Come on. Just one swing. Just one. Amen. I love you. Smooth operator. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. 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 That word. That word. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. I know. It might look dim now. Amen. Huh? Sometimes they cut the light down dim in the house. Huh? You can't hardly see. Mm -hmm. But that word is still working. Yeah. Yeah. Even in the midst of darkness, huh? yeah. praise God, the yeah. word is still working. Huh? Yeah. Don't you forget God's word. Huh? Don't yeah. you want to stand on God's word. Yeah. Huh? Don't you want to stand on his promises. Huh? Don't you want to be, huh? amen, Christ-like huh? yeah. in everything you do. Huh? Every once in a while, we got to check our own self. Huh? Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Huh? We got to make sure our weapon, huh? that we are getting ready to sling out into the atmosphere. Huh? Amen. Yeah. It's accurate. It's going to hit what it miss. Yeah. It ain't going to miss nothing. Yeah. Because I'm going to put the word on there. Have I got anybody in here yeah. that's yeah. going to be the word of God? Yeah. It cooks. It divides of the soul. The senses and the spirit of God intentionally set your soul on fire. It pierces. It goes to the inner man. It goes all the way to the heart. It separates your thoughts and your 
your tents uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, it's the yearns of uh, the reveals. Uh, if you can look at a mirror uh, and see your own self. Hey, yeah. It don't miss its target. Uh, the word of God is authoritative. authoritative uh, amen. It got power. Come on, somebody. The word that we gonna use the word uh, is in control and will not be a loser. Uh, you got to keep on asking God uh, to endow me with the Holy yeah. Spirit uh, so I can speak your word. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, uh, you like the three little pigs. Uh, amen. One to build a house. Uh, amen. On the straw. Uh, what lazy didn't get no word in them. Uh, they want to study. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, or you like, hey, me and the one. Uh, little pig that build his house. Uh, on the wood. Wood and wood. Uh, amen. Compromise. Uh, just anything goes. Whatever you want to do is all right with me. Uh, but all you want uh, to build your house. Uh, on the solid rock, huh, which is Jesus Christ, huh, firm foundation, huh, rooted and grounded in the word, huh, applying the word every day. Huh. It's me again, Lord. Huh. I'm standing in the need of prayer. Huh. You got a choice today. Huh. You can lose it or use it. Huh. It's up to you. Huh. You got to keep on talking to the Lord. Huh. You got to let the word come into you huh, so it can spring up like life. Huh. The letter kill it, huh, but the spirit may is alive. Oh, come on somebody. You got to be led by the Spirit. I'm so glad we can take authority because the word and authority has been given to us by our Father which are in heaven. Hallowed be his name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Amen. Is inspired of the Holy Ghost. So therefore we got to submit ourselves to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee. Huh? How are you going to flee is when yes, you give so him the word of God. Man should not live by the word of God. Man should not live by bread alone, huh? but by the word of God. Everything proceeded out of the mouth yes, of God. Yes. Come on, Jesus. We got a time to test Amen. and to tune. Amen. You got to keep on taking it to the shop till you get it right. Right now. I learned that from my son. You got to keep on taking it back until you get it right. See, everything that people use in the, in the world, you can take some from it. That's right. You can learn from it. That's right. Because if you ain't careful, they're going to tell you about yourself. See But you got to be like Paul. I'm taking authority. I'm not that way. Yeah. You wonder why church people ain't coming to church? Cause they not seen so much hell in us yeah. that they don't want to come. Huh? Because what comes out of your mouth? That's right. And they say, yeah. if you are a Christian, why are you saying all that stuff? Huh? Why you got so much hatred in your heart? Right. Why are you talking about folks the way you talk about? Why you ain't treating everybody like Jesus did? Come they on. can tell the difference. They just don't serve him. But we serve him. My God. And we ought to know better. John 8, 31 and 32, and I'm about to go to my seat. This is a condition. Then said Jesus to those Jews who believed on him, if ye continue, see, it's a steadfast process. Amen. You can't just do it today and stop it tomorrow. Amen. He said, if you continue in my word, then you are my disciples. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh? If you continue in my word, you are disciples indeed. Mm -hmm. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Mm -hmm. Am I closing? Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord mm -hmm. and the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God that you be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, the tricks of the devil. Mm -hmm. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Stop thinking you wrestle with your sister, your brother, your mother, your father, your aunt and your uncle, your grandparent. Amen. Come on, somebody, your neighbor. You are wrestling against principalities, against powers. Against rulers of the darkness of this world. Come on. Against spiritual wickedness yes, yes, yes. in high places. Come on, yes. Come on somebody. Amen. 
We got to understand that this word of God is sharper is quicker than any two heavy sword. So the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, in Jesus' name is what we need to stand on. Amen, amen. And he come keep coming back to me. Come on. With come this. On. Be not dismayed. Come on. Whatever be tired. No matter what it look like, don't get upset. Don't get bent out of shape. Amen. Don't get all in a frenzy. Don't be discouraged. For the Lord For the is Lord. Lord. Lift up your head and run to Jesus. He will take care of you. Have your relationship continually with the Lord. Listen to him and study the word of God, which is the sword of the spirit. Amen. And fight like a good soldier. Huh? Fight, 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 so fight, 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 and know that the battle is not yours. My God. It's the Lord. If they don't treat you nice, treat them nice in the house. They talk about you, you give praise to God for them. They mistreat you. It's all right. They mistreated Jesus. What make you think that ain't going to mistreat you? It doesn't matter. For it's all working for the good. Look around you. And it working for the good. Amen. Amen. He said that was supposed to be with them. They already been here. Amen. But God's word got to go out many places. Yes. Huh? Yes, Over the seas. Mm -hmm. Over the oceans. Yes. Up on top of the mountains. Yes, down in the valleys. Yes, yes. Hedges and highways. Yes. God's word has got to go out. Who will go for me? Who go? Huh? Amen. Huh? The harvest is plentiful. But the labor is free. But Isaiah says, send me on. Send me. I'll go. I will. I will speak the sword of the spirit. Which is the word of God. I'll go wherever you tell me to go. If I had to speak to the nation by myself. If you give me the power and the will to do it. I'll go. Yes. Jesus said, prepare me a body. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did, brother. Oh, prepare me a body. Me. And let me go down. See mm. The blood and the bulls and the goats ain't done. Guess what? I'm going down now. Going down. Hey. Glory be to God. And he came down, y'all. That's why you can't be this man. Forty and two generations, he came down through all lineages of time, through captivity, through slavery, through everything that was going on, all the sins, he still won't get on gun. Guess what? You got to keep on coming. He walked around this world from a baby, grew up in this sin sick world, but the Bible said he never sinned. He sinned in the And with every kind of people. See there. Come on, somebody. Love. Come on. But called out their sin. He got so good that he began to kneel down on the ground. See there. And said, whoever. <laughs> sin. <laughs> you ain't got no sin in you. Come on, Jesus. And cast him. Cast him. The first son. Amen. I ain't asking you to cast but one. Yeah. If you ain't got no sin, you ain't again, got no sin. Cast the first stone. Cast the first stone. Yeah. When he got up, mm -hmm. mm. off of that ground. Come on, Amen. come on. And I imagine he gave him a few minutes to think about. See there. Amen. See, sometimes you got to give people, my husband. Sometimes you just got to give them time to think about what you said. There you go. Yes. And then when he got up, it won't nobody to help but him and. The woman that had been accused of adultery. See them? All them have ran away. Huh? Huh? Well, what did he tell her? Go. And sin no more. How am I going to do that? By the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. He spoke it into her life. Yes, Lord. And she was never the same again. God has spoken something in your yes, life today. Yes. And you should never be the same. No, Many people are running to and fro now. They don't want to hear the word. 
They think they're comfortable in the state that they're in. Mm -mm -mm. But I want you to know today that God will come and get you right in the state that you're in. Yeah, come on. Come on. And then 1 Thessalonians 5, 27 says, I charge you by the Lord that this, this Episcopal be read unto all the holy brethren. Yes. Hallelujah. This word will keep you. Yes, it will. This word will make you all over again. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. People will tell you everything. Yes, they will. They will do everything. But this word will do what has been sent out to do. Amen. Hallelujah. It's a heal, deliver. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Father. Take this word on today. My God. Yes, God. God Tell God. somebody about oh. Jesus. Yes, Lord. The curse. Tell him how he came, bled, suffered, and died for them, for you and I. Thank you, Lord. On an old rugged cross. Yes. Look at nothing like that cross. Mm -hmm. He could have came down, called legions of angels yes. to come and get him on that cross. Yes. Yes. But he knew he had to do this finished work. Yes, the word would do his finished work. Yes, it he knew we needed to be saved. Yes. The price was so high that we couldn't buy it. Amen. Even the rich man with all his money mm -hmm. could not buy Sister come on. Jeannie. Come on. Come on. Our salvation. Glory. But I'm so glad Glory. that Jesus allowed his blood to drip down. Thank you, Lord. What can wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make us whole again? Ooh. Thank you, Jesus. Nothing but, but the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, the blood of Jesus, mm. which is the sword of the Spirit, yes, Lord. which is the Word of God. Yes. Why you say that? Because the Word of John say, in the beginning, in the beginning. was the Word, yes. uh -huh. and, the word and the Word was, was God. with God, and the, and the word, word was, was God. God. Come on, yes. huh? I'm That's why we're talking about the word, Amen. which is the sword of the spirit. Yes, Lord. Get in your word <laughs> and get that relationship right with God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. He'll take all the excuses away. He'll take all the pain away. He'll make you a new creature in him. And upon him we move. And we have our being. Because of the sword of the spirit which is the word of God. Yes, Come on and stand on your feet. Amen. Give God some glory. Amen. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Father. Yes, Father, we praise you. We give you glory. We thank you now for you having the right of way in our lives. Yes, today. We know, God, that your word will not come back void on today. Yes, we ask you now to go out, Father God, with your word to the hedges and the highways, God, as it relinquished to the internet and to all the places that people can be with God, that your word will capture somebody today. In the name of Jesus, deliver them and set them free. Because of who the Son set free is free, it's free indeed. indeed. Hallelujah. We thank you for the word and let us keep the word in our hearts, Father God, that we may not sin against you. Now, Father, let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be accepted in your sight, O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer. And the people of God say amen. 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 For those of you out in the audience of the internet or the airways, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, the word was spoken plain to you today. All you have to do is A, admit you are a sinner. Admit that you have fallen short of his glory. Admit that you need the Lord in your life. 
then be believed that he died and God rose him up on the third day with all power within his hands. Then confess it out of your own mouth because you got to write your own story. And then, once you have done that, the Bible said the angels in heaven will be rejoicing. And we're rejoicing with you. Tag us. Amen. Put a comment in and let us know that the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, captivated you, saved you, and delivered you. Until next time, God bless you. May heaven smile upon you.